welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome and welcome to today's video. Again, I'm super excited for today's video. This is continuing our series of clearing our woods to build my arena for the horses. Um, it's very cold today. Guys, I know I say that and you guys don't think I'm I'm serious, but like I'm from Florida. It's cold. We don't get in the 30s and the 20s. That's not like us. For you people in the UK and up north, um, I get it. You guys are used to it because that's normal for you guys, but this isn't normal for us. In my last video when we were preparing the animals for the winter, you guys were like roasting me about how I thought the weather was cold, but I promise you guys, it's cold. Florida's cold is a different type of cold. It's very cold. Hope you guys can hear me with the wind, but we are doing some massive progress. If you guys haven't watched part one of clearing the woods, you guys should go watch that. We did a lot with Mike's skid steer. But today, Mike's friend is coming over, and he's actually already here. He's working on it, you guys can hear. And he has another skid steer that's a lot bigger than Mike's, and it has like the mulcher head. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you'll see it in just a minute, but it is gonna do some crazy damage to the woods. So we should have like everything clear today, hopefully, if not all of it, most of it. So if you guys are excited for today's video and to see the beginning foundation of our, our horse arena come to life, then make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, every chance I post a beginning shot, are you guys, let's get right into this video. This is the before. So as you guys saw, I obviously was able to get this much cleaned up with uh, my machine which i'll be out here with mine today and uh we're gonna have the uh mulcher come in and see what all he can do with that so it should look pretty different by the end of the day today So this is what it looks like now. It's probably been about five hours or so. I'll show you guys the back in just a bit. But this is what it looks like. And it's really gonna come to shape really soon. Because right now you're just seeing mostly this pepper tree right here and all that stuff. So once that's gone though, it's really gonna look crazy open because when you go in there, you can see right through it. So it's cool, but that is all gone of all the little paper trees. It's just the pine trees, so super cool.
got the fire going, attempting to finish the burning of all the old brush from the last time when we cleared. So hopefully this goes out because it's like the perfect time to burn because it is cold out. It's pretty wet on the ground. The only thing is that there's a lot of wind, which is also good to give fire oxygen, but it's been like making the fire go out before it even starts. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it works out nicely. right now Mike is over here so small I'm zoomed all the way in just so you guys know I have to be pretty far because he's literally using the chainsaw and he's trying to cut down some of these pines so then the machine can just like grind them up when they're on the ground there it goes one down and if you guys can see let me see I can't find it there it is right there there's the machine so right there that at that point He's all that's left before he breaks through and we're pretty much all clear all the way through the back. It is day two of hopefully finishing clearing this. Last weekend is what you guys all had just seen and now we're here today, a week later, hopefully finishing up everything. If you guys can hear that in the back, that's him already starting with the mulcher. Again, this is Mike's friend and he just started his mulching business so he's here helping us try to get rid of the woods. So we're hoping that all the woods are gone today. So fingers crossed that by the end of this video, today all the woods will be gone and what I mean by that like all the trees will be down because we have this like huge stack of trees right there that still need to be like destroyed basically so we're trying to figure that out at this moment but Mike just started this fire here so I hope that it takes another fingers crossed on this one because it's been rainy and really wet so we've had such a hard time getting this fire to actually work because there's so much stuff in it and it's just so wet so really need this to burn because it's stopping like the full like grounds looking like perfect because we can't get rid of the down trees that haven't been mulched so yeah <laughs> but we're just gonna keep on working on it and by we not me because I, there's nothing for me to do except sit in my side by side and watch reporting back to let you guys know that the fire that i was complaining about is actually working so that's very exciting so that means that we've been able to decrease our big pile right here by a lot because it's been burning it. So Mike's doing another small load and adding it to our fire. Very exciting. Now this, we do plan on this burning for a very long time, like needing to be able to burn for a long time before it's all completely gone. We have like this one last section right here. It's kind of hard to see because the depth of it is like showing the trees in the back but this tree right here is like the only one that's like technically left before all the stuff is like that section back there so it's really getting close to being done i'm getting pretty confident and hopeful that all the trees will be down by today and mike's literally off the ground right now that wasn't very cool he's still off the ground fire is happy to have stuff added whereas the other fires that we kept trying to do it was not happy to have stuff added when we would add stuff it would basically kill the fire so he's doing another load and it's just gonna keep on burning this was our original plan was to keep up with it while we cut stuff down we would be burning it but that just was not the plan that this fire wanted us to have so in that fire oh my gosh wow yay i gotta back up y'all 
点它。<笑>所以是 the next morning， and there it is， you guys。It is completely cleared. Technically， all the trees are down. The only thing that we're waiting on is obviously to get rid of the leftover debris from the big trees. But this fire has gone all night， so it's definitely been working. It still is. I don't know if we can see a flame from here. It's kind of right there. We go, you guys. If you look right there, so this fire is still working. So we're still gonna like feed this fire today to get everything to basically leave. Hopefully, it should take a while though. So before you guys see another part, we'll probably be a little bit once this is all gone. And then, as you guys can see on the ground, it almost looks like an orange. If that makes sense. So basically, what that is, it's the trees mulched up. So if you just think of like regular mulch, this is basically what's happened to it. But we didn't mind because you know we are doing the arena here, so we're not like worried about it for now. It is super smoky out here right now, just because this fire brings a lot of smoke. So we have this pile still over here that yesterday you guys saw he was pulling from and putting into that fire right there. That fire basically was a good fire; it burned in the middle, <laughs> and now here we are. So yes, this is the course on fires. <laughs> just kidding, but this is what it looks like. It's completely cleared. It's crazy. We can literally see all the way over into my neighbors, and I just think it looks really awesome. So let's do a little. Um, tour for you guys to see everything that we see now. So here we are from the back. So now you can see this would be the back of the woods. So there's everything. It's crazy, and there's the barn over there, and then over there would be where、um, the pigs are. Alright, you guys, well that is a wrap. It is finally cleared. I felt like this was never gonna happen, so it's really exciting that it actually did happen. So I'm just like so excited. This was like a huge step in the process of getting the horse arena done, because obviously we couldn't have a horse arena if the woods weren't cleared, and it just felt like. It was just gonna be forever, and that it was never gonna get done. So now that it's done, and it only took us technically two days to do it, it wasn't that long in the grand scheme of things. So the horse arena will definitely get started a lot sooner. We knew it was definitely gonna happen in 2022, but now I'm confident that it will happen a lot sooner. Now that it's all completely cleared, we just have some steps to get rid of the debris and then get the grounds working. So I'm not sure exactly when part three will come up, just because there's still a lot that we have to do to the ground till. We get the actual footing and stuff for the arena, but I'm so excited. We're in the right direction. Also, we were talking about this too. I know that I was talking to you guys about, you know, the woods and not getting rid of them because the horses liked that, because the horses liked the woods. But now that we know that Trigger had a seizure, 
if God forbid he ever did have another one and had it in the woods and he got jammed in there or something like that. So now we do not regret our decision at all. We didn't in the beginning, but we were definitely questioning it when I was asking you guys for your opinion on it. But we have no regrets on clearing it now, especially because of that. And it looks so good. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that. But if you guys like today's video, if you guys are excited for our journey with the arena, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance to my post notification. Shout out today. Shout out goes to all right, you guys. I'll see you in the next one.